Welcome to Crawdaddy's Custom Crankbaits. This is part of the series that I'm doing for beginner painters. We're just gonna paint a simple uh, Little John in a simple color, just to show you how easy it is and a couple little techniques. Um, so let's get started. I've already went ahead and primed it and put a base coat of pearl silver on it, just to speed up process. Um, I'm taking some opaque yellow not gonna take a whole lot but all I'm gonna do is come across the spine of it Just coming across this top edge, try, I don't want to bring it down on the side of the bait. I'm trying to keep it as much on that top edge as I can. What I'm doing is just trying to find a spot from the rear of the bait up to the eye, and, and I'm just trying to find that motion of where I want to keep it and, and just work it to point to point. Once you have that, just clean the airbrush out. You can purchase Cretec or whoever's cleaners and stuff like that, but I just use straight tap water out of the faucet. You know, as many bait, baits as I paint, if I use their cleaner, I'd go broke. But you can use just regular tap board, that's all that is. Uh, sometimes I often take this bottle I got at uh, Hobby Lobby, um, and I put full of water, one drop of uh, dish detergent in it, and the dish detergent just helps clean it. That's all it does. Um, next, all I'm gonna do is take some black. This is black ink, cleans up with water or alcohol. I'm putting one drop in there. Doesn't take much of this process at all. Now, all I'm gonna do is darken around my eyes on both and i may darken the front part i'm not for sure uh, so let's darken around the eyes
when I first got started in painting baits, this is probably one of the first ones I've done. Um, and me and my son have caught a lot of fish on these baits. You know, I love Little John's. Um, simple scheme to do. I am going to darken this just a little. And if you start here and you pull away from your bait as you're going, it kind of fades it into the back instead of all one uniform dark color. That's all I want. Next thing I'm gonna do is put it in my holder. Take my template. When you're doing Little John's, the eyes are all set. They're half eyes and it's really hard to put it to your eye and, and kind of center it. So you kind of have to just learn where you put it for your shad dot where you want it i'm coming in I'm just going to put my shad dot I think that's almost the same spot. Put your shad dot in. Got a little bit of black came off my uh, shad dot template. I need to get some alcohol and clean it. Um, but I'm not worried about that because I'm fishing to show you another little technique that you can do. Really, basically, this bait is done, except for the splatter effect. I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol in my airbrush. I'm gonna hold a needle, let it bubble a little bit just to mix what I've got in there up good with the alcohol. I'm just going to pour it on top of this mixing cup I have. It may be a little thin. We're going to try it. But all you do is take a tooth brush. Um, you don't have to clip it or, you know, the bristles off of it. You just want to dip it. You come up here in an angle and lightly pull the bristles back. And then right off the get-go, I see it's going to need a little more ink into it. It's, good. it's too thin. So I'm just going to come up here. Well, put me a drop of black ink in there to thicken it up a little bit. Come up here and just lightly flick it. These spots that were too light, all I'm gonna do is take a toothpick, dip it in there, come back and touch it. That's just going to darken them up. 
around the gill plate if I want to put some dots in there that didn't get there. Just come in here and take your toothpick, put you in some dots, put them random wherever you want to put them at. Flip it over. Put a little bit on your toothbrush. And light flick and just let it splatter. Here, same thing, we'll come back in and just where it didn't touch or where it didn't hit and I want to put some. Taking my toothpick, dipped in the ink. Put dots in there. These are half eyes. A lot of times when you order these, they will send you eyes with them. If not, you have to buy half eyes. Um, if you run out of eyes, you can take a regular eye, put it on a piece of glass or something or a piece of wood, and you can split them in half and, and, and make one set of eyes out of them. But all I'm going to do is come in here and put my eye. Turn it over. Remove it. Pull my tape off. Be careful not to scratch your paint. And there's your bait. Um, it is just plain, cut and dry, simple. Not a whole lot to it. Um, go back over it. I primed it white first. I put a base coat of pearl silver down. I came back with just, uh, Cretex opaque yellow across the top. I took black, went around my eyes, faded it off across the nose just to give you a, a fade back of the color. Um, Put your eyes in, you're speckling on it, you dip it, and it's ready to paint, or ready to fish. Um, it's a plain, simple bait, but it's a good bait to practice on, to learn on. In the, in the specs, um, you can make them as heavy, as light, that's all entirely up to you. Um, but that is it, that's what I got tonight from Crawdaddy's Custom Crank Baits. Um, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching Crawl Daddies. Please like and share. Uh, leave any comments that you feel free. And we'll see you next time. Thank you a lot.